Hey guys, I am finally back with another Batmobile video. This time we're going to be taking a look at the Funko Batmobile and Batman and Robin action figure set from the classic 66 Batman television series. This was kind of an impulse buy because as some of you know, I normally wouldn't pick up large scale models like this, even with a classic Batmobile design like the 66. But we were at the bookstore the other day, I saw this and I had to have it. I think some of it may have had to do with the recent news of Adam West's passing. Um, like many fans, Adam West was my first real Batman, and it was really sad to hear of his passing. But, you know, it's made me happy to know that in recent years, there's been a renewed interest in the old 66 Batman TV series. You know, the way that the series is now available to buy, um, the comics that they've made, the animated movie where Adam West and Burt Ward reprised their roles as Batman and Robin, and of course, all the great collectibles that have been released. You know, I can still remember being so excited when I was a kid, you know, rushing home after school to watch the reruns of the 66 Batman series. And when we were kids, when we were really young, we didn't realize how campy or how comical that 66 show was. It was just Batman to us, you know. I know that some of those really over-the-top moments are what the show is known for. It could definitely be described as a parody of Batman. But the way that Adam West played him with that straight face, and if you really pay attention to the way he was written, even though it was done in a very comical way, uh, many of the things he would say, many of the things he would do, were very true to the actual character of Batman, more so than some of the recent live-action versions today. To me, as a kid, Adam West was just as much the heroic Dark Knight as Michael Keaton or Christian Bale eventually were for others. I mean, I can still remember it was such a thrill when, when Bruce Wayne would get a call from Commissioner Gordon on that red phone, you know, and then he and Dick Grayson would rush to the bat poles, they'd costume change into the bat cave, and of course, going into that awesome bat cave and seeing the Batmobile blasting out of the tunnel, every kid dreamed of going into that secret bat cave and getting to ride in that iconic Batmobile. That car became just as much a part of pop culture as Batman and Robin from the show. So, yeah. Many great memories of that Batman series, and this collectible by Funko looks like another great way to relive some of those memories. So let's start off by checking out the packaging. Now mine has a little bit of damage on the front of the box here, uh, but that's not a big deal because I am absolutely taking this Batmobile out of the box. And just like the TV show, the box is very bright and very colorful. It has a, a wide window box, so you can clearly see the vehicle and the figures inside. And over here, it has the classic TV logo, then the DC and the Funko logos. And it says that the figures are fully posable, which is cool because we've seen some Batmobiles released lately with non-posable figures. There's a background that includes the Gotham City skyline uh, with the bat signal here and here on the outer box. And then there's a cool rendering of the Batmobile at the bottom of the box here. Now, the top and the sides pretty much have the same images reprinted, and there are more window boxes, so you can see the Batmobile from different angles. That's a cool shot. And on the back, it has some of the same images, and it has an additional cool animated image of Batman. Uh, but it also shows you some of the other Funko figures from the series. And it says that these are chase figures, but I don't know how hard these are to find. You know, I've seen a couple of them in stores, and I've seen several people online post pictures of the entire set. So, you know, they're out there somewhere. So, why don't I uh, take everything out of package, and we will take a closer look at what's inside. And here are Batman and Robin and the Batmobile out of the box. And, you know, I think it's kind of intentional, but it's really cool because there's something about this set that makes me think of the vintage Star Wars line. Uh, there's just something about the way Funko made the vehicle and the figures. And you know, let's take a quick look at the figures first because that's what specifically reminds me of that classic Star Wars action figure line. These figures don't necessarily have a realism like, you know, like a Marvel Legends or DC Collectibles, but they are still very accurate in design. They're standard plastic figures, right? But the capes are this incredibly soft and bendable plastic. I think these are a step up from the standard Funko Reaction line of figures, if you've seen those. 
Um, the sculpt is great because you know it really implies that expected Adam West physique. And the cape is a separate piece from the rest of the figure. Now, in terms of articulation, it has this sort of wonky ball joint on the head. There is a, uh, a swivel at his shoulder. There's a bend at the elbow here. His legs move forward. And then there's a bend at the knee. So you can easily fit these guys into the Batmobile. And again, there's some pretty accurate detail throughout like on his utility belt and the, the sculpting on his costume there, the wrinkles that are on his boots, and you got the same thing on his gloves. And all the paint apps are very crisp and very clean, you know, like the yellow and the gold on his utility belt, the bat symbol on his belt buckle, his chest, and the lines on his cowl. Let me show you Robin too, because he is just as good. Now, the articulation for both of these figures is exactly the same, and Robin has some great sculpting detail as well, like on his tunic and uh, the utility belt. And again, all the paint apps are very clean. And the colors, you know, the colors are very accurate. You know, Robin's not just red and green, and Batman is not just blue and gray. They're both very consistent with the colors from the TV show. The likeness in the face sculpts is not perfection, right? But Funko did a great job with implying Adam West and Burt Ward without trying to go for absolute realism. There's no mistaking which Batman and Robin this is, right? Now, the figures, they do a decent job of standing on their own. My Robin had a wonky foot, but that was, that was easily fixed. And I think they look great standing next to the Batmobile. But let me set the figures aside and we will take a look at the Batmobile since that's the main reason why I picked up this set. Now, the Batmobile is very simplistic, but it's also very well made. It doesn't really have any features other than the, uh, the rolling wheels there. And in the sculpt for the trunk and the hood, there are these deep grooves and at first it looks like they could open, but that's just the way that the model is sculpted. It's all made out of this, this very hard plastic and it feels very sturdy. And just like the figures, all of the paint apps are very clean. You know, all the red pinstripes and the bat symbols. And while it's not the most detailed model of the 66 Batmobile, it does have a few of the expected highlights. Like in the cabin, it has a few details, like aside from the, the steering wheel and the dashboard there, uh, there's the bat phone, the gear shift, and that extinguisher that they had. And on the top, it has the siren and the pipes on the back. And it has the, uh, the parachutes on either side of the exhaust. And there's some, some really nice sculpting detail throughout. And again, like the figures, it's not an exact recreation, but for what it is, I think it's a nice representation of the 66 Batmobile. Now, to put the figures in the Batmobile, you can position them to sit inside, but even though the capes are this very soft plastic, they still sort of get in the way. I've seen some people put the figures in with the capes flowing out of the back like this, but that, that still sort of lifts them up and they don't sit down all the way. Robin works a little bit better because his cape is shorter. I just think that it probably would have worked better if they both had cloth capes. You know, I'm personally not a big fan of figures in this scale having cloth capes. I just think plastic capes normally look better. Uh, but if you're going to have figures with capes that are going to sit in a vehicle like this, um, I think cloth is definitely the way to go. And, you know, you can try to fold the capes under, but especially with Batman, um, the cape still sort of gets in the way, even if you can kind of position it so that the cape is tucked in all the way. He still sort of sits up out of the seat the same way that, that he does when the cape is flowing out of the back. And 
you really want to be careful with the figures when you're working around the capes to put them in the Batmobile. As I pointed out, the capes are separate pieces from the figures, right? And if you look closely at the way that the cape is attached around the cowl, it's a very thin line of that soft plastic. And I could see it potentially breaking off if I'm too rough with it, you know, trying to position it so that he could sit all the way down inside the Batmobile. Now, I don't necessarily like the way that it looks with the capes flowing out of the back, uh, but it doesn't look too bad, I guess. The only problem is their capes catching on fire from the pipes or the security system, whatever those, those pipes are on the back of the Batmobile. Since I'm not really going to be playing with this and it's just going on display, I'm definitely going to position them with the capes inside the cabin. Safety first. So, comparison time. Believe it or not, I don't have very many models of the 66 Batmobile, but I wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison with a couple of them to show you the scale and a few of the differences. This Funko 66 Batmobile is about 11 inches or 28 centimeters in length. And here it is next to the Eagle Moss release. This is a 143rd scale, and some of you have asked me to do a review of this one and some of the other vehicles that are from the 66 television series, and I promise I will do that eventually. But real quick, let me just show you the level of detail that's inside the cabin for this one, because Eagle Moss really went above and beyond with their version of the 66. Like the bat symbols on the seats, uh, the sculpting of the seats, uh, the accurate bat phone, and all the gadgets and gizmos that are inside. It's so cool. So let's do one more size. Here is the 164 scale release from Hot Wheels. This one was given to me by our good buddy, Mad Waba. Thank you very much, sir. It's the one with the blue windshield, which is always a classic interpretation for Hot Wheels. You know, this was the very first Batmobile that I had when I was younger. And I distinctly remember playing with this Batmobile with the blue windshield when I was on the playground. But, you know, looking at all of them side by side, you get a sense of just how big the Funko release is compared with the others. I know I've said this, but I usually don't get the bigger models like the 118 scale or the Hot Toys Batmobiles. Uh, but now that I have more collection space, uh, I am picking up a few of the bigger models. And this one was definitely an impulse buy for me, but I am glad that I picked it up. In closing, I think this is a great set. Now, it may not be for everyone simply because it does lean more towards a toy versus something more like Hot Toys or Eagle Moss. But I think it is a wonderful bit of nostalgia for those who are fans of the 66 Batman series. Obviously, I am. This set will run you around $40, uh, but you do get a strong representation of the Batmobile and you get the Batman and Robin figures. Uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that the Robin figure is actually an exclusive to this set. Either way, the figures are faithful to the original design in terms of the sculpt and the paint apps, and the Batmobile, while not the most detailed, has a very solid construction. So, we've been looking at the Funko Batmobile with Batman and Robin figures from the classic 1966 Batman TV series. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.